Pop-Up Plunder is a live event that gives you a chance of getting high tier loot. It only happens during community weekend, which is once a season, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So how it works is Sea of Thieves will post a picture of an island, and that's the island that you go to in-game to dig up your treasure. Couple things. How do you know where to dig it up? You kinda don't. They do have a clue here that they'll put on most of the maps, but it's still a little vague. What I usually do is just wait for someone to find it. I'll check the Twitter replies. Usually someone will post a picture or a video and that's how I find it. But if you're feeling adventurous, you can use the clue and try to find it on the island. Other things, it only lasts for an hour. This one was posted at 4 a.m. So if I went to the island and dug at the spot at 5 a.m., I wouldn't find anything. Also, it's posted every four hours. So there's a little bit of a rhythm that you can come in and check every now and then. We check the tweets, we can see this one is posted at 4 a.m., this one is posted at a.m., this one is posted at 12 p.m., and so forth. This is what it looks like in-game when you get one of these pop-up plunders. You'll get like a notification and a little jingle, and you'll also get a piece of paper in your quest radial. The piece of paper is really important if you're actively searching for pop-up plunders because it signifies whether or not it's active in your server. If you have the paper, that means it's active in your server. But if you don't, it means that either the time has expired or someone has dug it up and sold it already. The way you know is you see this little icon right here on the table. Anybody who has the pop-up plunder has this icon that is visible to everyone on the server. To add on to that, there's only one pop-up plunder per server and this icon only shows up once it's been dug up. So. If you're in a server during the time, the one hour time frame, and you don't have the paper and you don't see the icon on the map, that means that it's not active in your server. These are all the different kinds of loot that you can get currently. There's a variety here. If you're into doing fishing accommodations, I would recommend trying this out because you can get a chance of a high rarity fish or treacherous plunder, which is super helpful for those accommodations. There's another piece of loot that you can also get, and that's the box of wondrous secrets. A little tip, sometimes they'll make it guaranteed in one of these maps and they won't outright say it. Like for example, this one, everyone got a box of Wonder Secrets. They all posted about it here in the Twitter replies. I also did this too and I posted it on the Reddit to help share with people, get the box of Wonder Secrets. The box of Wonder Secrets is definitely the big bucks item out of all of the pieces of loot you can get from the pop-up plunder. With grade five on the community weekend, you could get up to 62,500 gold. And that's not even including if you have Reapers up, that could add up a bunch more gold too. Chest of Fortune is solid too. Good for granting commendations because there is a specific commendation that people want to get done. It's a good amount of gold also. A little bit less in the box, but the gold is definitely there. Although I will say for all of the pieces of loot that you can get, it's going to take a little bit to get the max grade in the community weekend it usually takes like 12 hours it's based off of viewership on twitch for sea of thieves so you know sometimes if you're doing those pop-up plunders earlier in the weekend you might not be at grade five and it might not be worth as much just an fyi last community weekend i was able to dig and sell four pop-up plunders i don't have the footage for it anymore it was automatically deleted from my twitch vods i streamed it live um, so you're just gonna have to believe me, but I did it mostly through diving the island for that hour was Devil's Ridge And so what I did was I dove to ancient spire outposts using the legendary storyteller tall tale, which is the third tall tale and Basically, I would just hop onto a brig dive to this tall tale sail to Devil's Ridge dig up the pop-up plunder then sail back occasionally, you know some servers didn't have pop-up plunder but most of the time that worked and I was able to get four solid cells in. I think I dug up more, but I didn't sell all of them. The moral of the story is use diving to your advantage. If you see that the island they post on the Twitter is close to an outpost, close to a notable island of interest for a tall tale or any kind of quest that's diveable to, use it to your advantage. Dive to it and go back and forth, you know, maximize that, that value. <laughs> Thank you.